Hey, this is Ryan of Happy Healthy Vegan. So today in this video, we're gonna to try to answer the age old question, do carbs make you fat? Will eating a diet rich in carbohydrate rich foods cause you to gain weight? And I'm sure you've heard this from many people in your life, a friend, a family member, people at the gym, and there's countless websites with articles and blogs saying this very same thing, that carbs will make you fat. Actually, I've had two things happen to me recently that have inspired me to make this video now. Firstly, when we're presenting at VegFest LA just a few days ago, during the QA portion of our presentation, someone from the crowd asked us, me specifically, what about carbs? Do they make them fat? A lot of their coworkers were giving her a bunch of crap for eating basmati rice and non bread, you know, carb rich foods. And secondly, on a recent episode of Joe Rogan's podcast, he was interviewing vegan Russell Brand, and Joe had this to say about carbs. There was no understanding of excess carbs and how excess carbs leads to excess body weight and it makes it makes you store fat and youtuber comedian slash medical doctor z dog is saying pretty much the same thing and that's partially i think the reason why we have an obesity epidemic is we shifted from a reasonably high fat diet to a reasonably high carbohydrate diet so the story goes that when consumed in excess Carbohydrates convert into fat and are stored in our bodies through a process known as de novo lipogenesis. And people will often cite studies performed on rats and other rodents, but rodents have a very different liver metabolism than do humans, and also our capability of storing fat via de novo lipogenesis is just a fraction of what rodents are capable of. So instead, let's look at some actual studies done on actual human beings and see if overfeeding them carbs caused them to become fat via de novo lipogenesis. So earlier studies, such as this one from 1982, used a process known as calorimetry to see if there was any fat gain on people's bodies when they overconsumed carbohydrate foods. So the researchers of this carb overfeeding experiment came to two big conclusions. One, the capacity for glycogen storage in man is larger than generally believed, which means when these subjects ate their carb rich foods they weren't converting their carbs into fat de novo lipogenesis instead the carbs were being stored in the body in the form of glycogen which is great that's what powers our body when you walk around or exercise two fat synthesis from carbohydrates will not exceed fat oxidation which is burning fat after one high carb meal even if it's uncommonly large so as it says in the bottom these findings challenge the common perception that conversion of carbohydrates to fat is an important pathway for the retention of dietary energy and, here guys, for the accumulation of body fat. And also in this paper, the researchers say fat, not carbs, should be considered a much greater threat to maintenance of energy balance and body weight than dietary carbohydrate. So fast forward a couple decades, newer research like this one from University of California, Berkeley, using more current methods, isotopic methods rather than calorimetry, found pretty much the same thing as the earlier studies. Specifically, these Berkeley researchers said that de novo lipogenesis is not the pathway of first resort in response to intaking a surplus of carbs. The first and quantitatively most important responses to increase carb intake are increased glycogen storage, as we talked about earlier, which is good if you want to have energy to do things, and increased whole body carb oxidization, which is burning the energy. But it's not increased carbohydrate conversion to fat. So here's yet another more modern study in which they overfed their subjects carbohydrates and the conclusion was that de novo lipogenesis increases after overfeeding with glucose and sucrose to the same extent in the lean and obese women that they tested on, but it does not contribute greatly to total fat balance. So this carb and calorie overfeeding study was able to measure some de novo lipogenesis, but let me show you how minimal it actually was. Do you see those tiny little hast areas at the very top of these bars here? That is the amount that de novo lipogenesis contributes to fat balance and hypercaloric state. So these de novo lipogenesis experiments in humans paint a pretty clear picture in that eating excess carbohydrates does not readily convert into bodily fat. 
carbs get stored as glycogen and just gets burned off as energy. So let's say you're the type of person who distrusts science for whatever reasons and you like to see real world examples. Well, I've got one for you. Let's look at the Okinawan diet from Japan. And this is not just any ordinary group of people. I'm talking about the Centarian Okinawans, those that live to be 100 years old. And their diet consists mainly of carbohydrate foods, such as 70% of the calories come from sweet potatoes, 12% from rice. In fact, 85% of the calories come from carbs. Remember, these people are living to be 100 and they are not obese. So as we've seen from the science, carbs don't cause you to get fat. De novo lipogenesis doesn't cause you to pile fat on like Joe Rogan and Z-Dog and others say. Furthermore, as we've seen from the Okinawans, you can live a long, healthy life if you eat a carb-rich diet. Well, what about the opposite? What if you're on a low-carb diet? Are there any dangers from that? Well, yes, the science is becoming more and more clear about this as time goes on. Check out this new study just published days ago showing the dangers of a low-carb diet. So for all you science nerds, this was a prospective cohort study which tracked the same individuals over 10 years. And what they found was those who eat the least amount of carbs, the lowest carb diet group, were at the highest risk of all-cause mortality, cardiovascular disease, stroke, and cancer. So despite what all these carb-fearing websites are saying that carbs will make you fat and guys like Joe Rogan and Z-Dog repeating these myths, remember, these are merely myths. They're not supported by science. And as we've seen here, the science is saying the complete opposite, that carbs do not readily make you fat, that carbs help you avoid or at least reduce your risk for the leading causes of death and in the cases of the Okinawans, can help you to live to be 100 plus years old. So before I go, let me give you a plug for our book, Keep It Carb Baby which is all about eating whole food plants, which are naturally high in carbohydrate content. It's not a bunch of Twinkies and stuff like that. Whole food plants, check it out. We have a second edition here that Angie just re-released, cleaning up a few little ambiguities and typos here to make it even easier for you guys to learn how to eat a high carb, whole food plant lifestyle. So anyway, leave your questions and comments down below. Share with us how you heard this myth that carbs make you fat. Who told it to you and how did you respond? I'm sure I'm mean, gonna get a lot of interesting stories here so please share and until next time guys remember to subscribe and that it doesn't suck being vegan